All right guys, so for today, I'll be trying Shake Shack for the first time. All right, so what I ordered, I got a cookies and cream shake. You can't go to Shake Shack and not get a shake. I also got um, spicy Korean barbecue cheese fries and a Shack burger. Not like Shaq the basketball player. All of this came out to about $19, which is pretty pricey. Better be good. <laughs> it smelled good on the way home. Okay, we got a green straw. Pretty cool. The cookies and cream shake from Shake Shack. Ooh. That's pretty good. There's like thick chunks of Oreo in it. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Ooh, 9.2. That is creamy, thick. I, uh, I really like that. I'm gonna go into the burger. Like I said, I got just a, a smash burger, single patty. Look at this thing, smash patties has a sauce on it. The bun is almost kind of like a roll. Look how it's like cut. There's like a, it's very unique. Hmm, okay. I haven't had a smash burger, like smash style patty in a while. Mm. It's quite nice. The only thing, the lettuce is kind of soggy. The patty is nice and juicy. The sauce is okay. I don't know what the sauce is on it. It kind of looks like a, some kind of mayo. burger was $6.59. If I had to compare it to In-N-Out, In-N-Out's a little cheaper for a double, I think. Is it cheaper? Yeah, I think it was cheaper for a double. It's not Smash style, though. I'd probably give this burger an 8.5. Last bite, best bite. I got this sauce with the fries, I think. Okay, these fries look good. I'm gonna pour the sauce on there too. Check them out. I don't know how this is nearly a thousand calories, but spicy Korean barbecue cheese fries. Oh, it must be the. All right, spicy. Korean barbecue cheese fries. I'm gonna just go in and, is this a fork? <laughs> what is this? Maybe it's a fork? Maybe put this on here. I hope this isn't too spicy, but we're gonna see. <laughs> it's probably super spicy. I'll just pour the whole thing on it. Ooh, it smells spicy. Was this supposed to be a fork? I like these crinkle cut fries. They remind me a lot of Dave's hot chicken fries. Very similar. I don't know if this is a fork or I should be using this. It's maybe to mix it up, but. Even on a 20 minute drive, these fries actually held together pretty well. They're not soggy. I do like this cheese too. Try a sauce by itself. It's 
not really spicy, to be honest. I mean, it has a little kick to it. These fries are good, though. The fry actually is better than the burger. If I should still be using this wooden fork. I would go just for the shake. The shake was the ultimate best part. Let's see what's called Shake Shack. These fries, to me, I'm more of a crinkle cut fan too. So I'm gonna give the fries, I'm gonna give them a nine flat. The cheese, I would get this again for sure. To me, this is better than the Voodoo Fries from uh, Wingstop. The reason why I'm still using this wooden fork is I don't have napkins. <laughs> Can I put a fork in here? No. I guess this is a fork. This is good. I was expecting more out of the spice though. Ultimately, was Shake Shack worth, um, how much did I pay on this? $19.67? I don't think so. I'd probably just go there and get a shake. These fries. I could pass on the burger. So good. Maybe it does have a little kick after, but. All right, guys. So Subway just launched these new sidekicks. I'm super stoked for them. I got all three of them. They have a pretzel. They have a churro, and then this five or it was a five dollar foot long cookie. Okay. So I think I'm gonna start with. Let's go sweet. Golly, this cookie's much bigger than I thought. Check out that foot long cookie. Looking extra thick. All right. This on the back of it says Gordy Howe, Red Wings jersey. If you can guess what movie this was on, post in the comments below. I'm not gonna tell you. I'll tell you after. Dude, look at this cookie. Holy smokes. Oh, look at it. Real soft and chewy. That's a long old cookie. <laughs> Slight crispy edges. I don't know what to think of this. It feels like it's missing something. I don't know what. It's a good cookie. This 
more chewy on the middle. That's what I like. The outsides are a little bit um, kind of crunchy, but let me take another bite. Loads of chocolate chips. It's just different than if you had a single cookie from Subway. I don't know what to even say. <laughs> I'm gonna give this cookie an 8.1. That's a lot of cookie. Did I get the pretzel? But I didn't get no sauce or anything. Oh man. There's a whole lot of salt. Look at all this salt, guys. It's super chewy. <laughs> it definitely needs a dipping sauce, but I don't think I got any. I don't know if you gotta make a special request for that. This boy is dry. That legit would take me 20 years to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a 6.2. I, I wouldn't buy that again. Then we got the churro. Oh, okay. I want to focus on my face. The foot long churro. Kind of rubbery. <laughs> I do like the outside though. It's quite nice. Nice crisp. I would say I enjoyed the churro way more than the pretzel. A little bit more than the cookie, too. I'd probably give this an 8.4. By no means is it the best churro I've had. I need something for this pretzel. Some Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet Golden Mustard. I'm gonna try with the pretzel. <laughs> Hopefully this helps it. Hopefully it's, it's probably still gonna be chewy, but. It's a little more enjoyable. <laughs> I still wouldn't buy it again. This sub or sweet baby rice, sweet golden mustard, barbecue sauce is good. I'm just not into that pretzel. <laughs> Let's go back into this cookie.
so much chocolate chips. They did not play around. On my app, it said this thing has zero calories, so. <laughs> I don't think that's true, but. Looks like about half the cookie left. It's cookie for five bucks, so you get a lot of cookie. You will not be craving cookie after this. <laughs> Definitely get the churro. The cookie, if you're feeling adventurous, you want a lot of cookie, or if you want to split it with some people. And don't get the, the pretzel. That's just my suggestion. Last bite, last bite. salt all over the place all right guys this is actually a redemption review <laughs> so i haven't done these uh i this is from charlie's steakhouse i had them a while back and i did not really like them that much uh, but i'm gonna try them again i think everybody deserves a second shot so i got the philly cheesecake philly cheese steak not cheesecake and uh yeah i got it right here this is sign say buy one going free cheesesteak uh, yes any small or regular size Oh, they're giving out like coupons. Huh, I'm gonna hold on to this if it's good. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I just, I don't know, I didn't not like it that much last time. And uh, I think I got, I got a large cheesesteak. Like I said, they deserve a second chance. It doesn't look bad. I, uh, I'm gonna have it the way it is. Look at this thing. It looks pretty good. Did I just drop the pickle? <laughs> Let's try this again without dropping tomatoes and stuff. All right, Charlie's Cheesesteaks Redemption Challenge. I got the Philly cheesesteak. Okay. It's a little better the second time. I feel like I didn't have sauce on it last time. <laughs> so, if you live in Michigan, might be other places too. I don't know. Maybe you have one of these by you. I had a Tubby's when I used to live there. I live in Houston now. That was my place. 
There's a lot of meat in there too. I will say this redemption review, it's a lot better the second time. Call me crazy, but I feel like if I had some Italian dressing on it, I love Italian on Philly cheesesteak, so Italian or ranch would be really good. To me, this would be a, this is a good 8.6. I wish I had like the sesame sub bread too. <laughs> Making a mess. I'm also a big fan of Penn Station. That was a good sub place that I had in Michigan too. I've yet to see one in Texas. <laughs> Last bite, best bite. All right, my friends, Valentine's Day treats are out. I found this at Target. Little heart-shaped cake from Little, Little Debbie. Be my Valentine cake. Got the hiccups. 360 calories for this thing. All right, we got the Little Debbie heart-shaped cake. Happy Valentine's Day. Even though it's a few, well, whenever this video comes out. There's some vanilla cream in the middle. Vanilla cream. I remember eating these two a while back. I was a kid on Valentine's Day around. So spongy. Nice vanilla cream.
I'll give it an 8.1. All right guys, as you've seen from the title, what happens when you eat week old pizza? So I got this pizza last weekend. The Lions were playing the Chargers, and, or the Rams. Who, what am I, who, who are they playing? <laughs> the Lions were playing the Rams and I got this pizza from Marcos and it's a week old, but we're not wasting food. But look at this pizza guys. Look at that, that looks so good. Can't let that go to waste. Look how good that looks. Smells good. I got sausage. This is from an extra large pizza that I got from Marco's. Mmm. I air fried it. Put some hot honey on it. Oh man, hot honey on pizza. I even Googled if you can eat wheat whole pizza. So. Honey, the hot honey, the sausage, cheese. See how the air fryer did on the crust. I would say it did good. Man, the air frying it, the sauce is a lot lighter. Tastes good to me. <laughs> All right guys, so I got my hands on a new Blue Bell Ice Cream Monster Cookie Dough flavor. I am pumped to try this. I'm gonna combine it though. If you guys wanna save 10% off Fit Butter products, use code Keith to save yourself 10% off. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try a little bit without the Fit Butter, and then I'm gonna try it with the Fit Butter. Because I got the Cookie Monster Fit Butter flavor.
Okay. We got some vanilla. Got some M&Ms, some candy pieces. Again, bluebell's like the pride and joy of Texas. Here we got a little cookie dough piece coming up in here. Oh wow, big chunk. That was quite nice. Now I'm gonna throw a little bit of this fit butter into the mix. Take a chunk of the fit butter, mix it in with the ice cream. Oh, I'm putting the cap of the ice cream on the fit butter. Monster cookie flavor from fit butter. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I love the stuff on ice cream or um, oats, popcorn. Oh man, that's very nice, add it in. What would I give this as a whole? The monster cookie dough. Hmm, probably give this one honestly an 8.1. It's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's on my top tier list. I like the last one I had last time. The salted caramel brownie way more than this one. <clears throat> if you mix in your fit butter with this, or with any ice cream, it can be a low carb calorie ice cream too. Hmm. When I put it with popcorn, it usually melt in the microwave for 15, 20 seconds. Then pour it over, maybe even a little longer, 30 seconds. Might have one more bite. Very nice.